Now that we've seen what microservices are and we've discussed how they might benefit us, let's talk about what we're going to build and then we'll finish off by installing the latest version of Symfony so that we're ready to start development. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience and if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. We're going to build a promotions engine, which is a form of affiliate marketing tool. If you look at the current PHP developer jobs market, you'll see that there are loads of companies which are building these types of things and they're building them as microservices. So I think it will be a good contemporary exercise for us. The way it works is that the promotions engine has a bunch of affiliate marketing partners who are able to provide discounts on certain products. And then the client application or the service can fire a request into the promotions engine with various pieces of data. And so the engine will then do its thing, go and find the best value offerings based on the data it receives. And some of the solutions you get today are really smart. They can use like literally thousands of pieces of data and artificial intelligence in order to tailor offers towards the inquirer. Ours isn't going to be quite that sophisticated, but we'll still get into some interesting programming. We'll post a few pieces of data as JSON, then internally we'll apply some modifying and filtering on the available offerings which we have in the database that we'll create in order to return the one with the best price for that particular inquiry. So if you look at the example we have here, we're just sending in a few handful pieces of data, product ID, location, voucher code, request date, quantity and so it could look at this and say okay the request is being made from a UK company or so in which case we can give 20% off or whatever uh, what's actually happening here if you look at the response is it's giving 50% off and it's saying the reason why or the promotion name is the Black Friday half price, price sale because if you look at the request date it is 25th of the 11th 2022 which just so happens to be Black Friday and so that will be the best offering it can find within the engine. Let's go ahead now and create a brand new Symfony project. I'm going to do this using the Symfony CLI. So if you don't already have that installed, it's very easy to do. You can download it from this uh, address here. And some of the benefits of these things here, you can create new Symfony applications, develop applications with a local web server, which I'll probably end up doing, uh, check for security vulnerabilities and get seamless integration with platform SH. So what I'll do is I'll go over to the terminal, I create a project using Symfony CLI, but I'll also show you the command if you want to do it using just plain old composer. So I say Symfony new and then the name of the project, so we'll call this Promotions Engine. And then I'll CD into there. And we'll just have a look at the files. Okay, so we've got all the files there for a Symfony Skeleton project. The other way is to go to packages.org and look for Symfony Skeleton. And so this is the one you want here. Click on that. And then you'll get this command here, Composer, Create Project, Symphony Skeleton. And so you paste that in your terminal and then whatever you wanted to call it, which in our case was Promotions Engine. But obviously I don't need to do that because I've already got it installed. So here I am inside my project inside of PHP Storm. And I'm actually going to go and pull in a couple of extra libraries before we make a start. So I'll say Composer, Require... Uh, dev because I just want these as dev dependencies and we'll go with PHP unit and also maker I don't think I need anything else off the top of my head at the moment But I know that I'm definitely going to need those two things. So we'll hit go Okay, and then we'll go and look at our composer JSON file and so when we said PHP unit what it did it actually got us PHP unit bridge these other parts here uh, Symfony Browser Kit and Symfony CSS Selector are dependencies of PHP Unit Bridge, as is PHP Unit, and the Maker Bundle just stands on its own, and we'll probably use that in order to make some entities. And another thing which you may have noticed is because we're using the Symfony binary, it actually already initializes a Git repository for us. So what I'm going to do is customize my Git ignore file for working with Symfony and with PHP Storm because. Sometimes it creates a lot of files which you don't actually want to have in your repository. 
So here's a useful tool which I use all the time. It's made by the uh, developers at TopTal. And if we type in PHP Storm, and we'll check that, and also Symfony, then cre click Create. What it will do is it will create us a git ignore or some git ignore entries uh, which are specific to the tools which we are using. So back over to our project and then in our git ignore file we'll go down to the bottom here and we'll just paste those in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for duplicates. So I think that's a duplicate. Okay so that's all the duplicates taken care of. Let's go and have a look what's available to be committed. So I'll add all of those with git add dot then I'll commit them with git commit hyphen m and we'll just say initial commit and so now we know what it is that we're going to build we have symphony installed and in the state that we want it in let's move on if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon and also if you're interested in my full length courses then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description.